Okay, now I have special guest. And by special, it's Hugh Holman. Dear guest, it's my pleasure to introduce the keynote speaker of the night, the winner of Arizona Dancing with the Stars 2014. One of the most enthusiastic dancers in Arizona. A business law attorney, economist, and professor and lecturer. Community volunteer. Educational leader of the year as a Tempe prep headmaster, former mayor of Tempe. Mr. Hugh Holman. Given the accents of all the people who are speaking to you, I assume we need to speak this way so you can understand what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you, Artem, for that fine introduction. Здравствуйте, я мой друг и друг подруга. Подруг? Подруги? Yes, да, 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 да. Plural of подруга is подруги. Uh, I am indeed Hugh Holman, but the more important thing is that we need to uh, give uh, Julia a bit more round of applause. That was a spectacular presentation and speech. Julia, where are you? Stand up and rise to be recognized, wherever she is. Where is she? Until she stands, you have to keep applauding. Apparently she's now ducked out for a costume change. Yeah, she's in a costume change. Uh, I am here this evening with the help of my colleague Elka Kristova and her husband Alex to encourage you to support dance as a sport and specifically as a physical education component in our schools. Why do I say that? Because in this country today, we have an absolute epidemic of obesity in young people and our schools currently have cut budgets specifically for programs that they view as alternatives things that would help our young people improve so we've lost options that would help them improve their health enhance their confidence and connect them to others in their community our young people now spend all of their time on computers manipulating their mobile devices and being socially connected while being completely disconnected from their parents, from their peers, and from others in our community. Social isolation is just one reason why we have an increase in teen drug addiction and suicide. These are serious, serious problems. Well, what on earth does that have to do with dance? I'll tell you, it has plenty to do. You heard the gruesome details of my resume, I trust, in uh, a very clearly stated uh, commentary by Artem. It is true that I started my career as an economist. That's a pretty lowly career, being an economist. But then to make matters worse, I went to law school and became a lawyer, so... And then, I went on to enter politics and hold elective office. I ultimately became the mayor of the city of Tempe, so that's about the worst thing you can do. So there I am, in front of you. I'm a three-time loser, some people would say. But how bad is your life? You're sitting there listening to me. <laughs> but I will tell you, dance is the reason I'm actually able to stand before you. When I was much younger, much younger, some 50 years ago, a little bit of autism and uh, uh, extraordinary shyness, one would even say uh, social extreme anxiety, befell me, and it took extraordinary effort, every bit of my energy, 
to actually be able to stand in front of a room like this, or enter it for that matter. Imagine the amount of courage it takes to stand in front of a room of people dressed in an absurd costume like this. I can see none of the rest of you had that kind of courage. But Elka insisted. A neighbor, when I was young, thought that maybe it might help if I learned to dance. And she had four daughters, so, you know, where could I go wrong? So I spent my youth learning to dance with my four neighbor daughters, and that helped increase my confidence. So much so that a few years later, I actually auditioned for some uh, musical theater shows. Perhaps you've seen shows like The King and I, or The Boyfriend, Oklahoma, or maybe The Music Man. Well, you've got trouble, my friends. Right here is a trouble right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a good player. Certainly mine, I'm to say I'm always my apprentice to say it. So I'm a little uh, forgetful these days. But ultimately, the dancer that I worked with, the choreographer, young woman born and raised in what is now Scottsdale, she herself found her confidence and became a ballerina. In fact, she became Balanchine's principal dancer for a decade. She took me under her wing and helped teach me to dance. And that gift of dance helped me to grow courage and ability and overcome shyness. Now I will admit, I will never be a great dancer like many of the people in this room. It is a challenging, challenging activity, as Julia said. Anybody who doesn't understand dance as a sport doesn't know dance. It is an extraordinary athletic activity that helps improve one's health. It's a means of social engagement, and it's also a source of grace and poise, and as I explained before, confidence. It was dance that gave me my career in the law, and in politics, and ultimately to get to serve my community as the mayor of the city of Tempe. That's how important dance can be in young people's lives. So we are here, we are here this evening to try and support helping put back into our schools an activity that will help our young people. There are cards on your table that give you the opportunity to help. Now not all of us can give a whole lot, but I ask you to give what you can give, because what we are doing this evening is to put back into our schools an activity that will enrich the lives of many young people, most of whom you will never know. But who knows, maybe through dance they might rise above being a mayor and perhaps become a governor or a president. I believe Julia is first in line for that office. So please do if you can help. Take one of those envelopes. They look like this. And they have Julia's face on it. So you cannot deny Julia the opportunity to pay her back for having the courage to stand before you and ask for help. With that, notwithstanding that I am no longer the young person I was when I learned to dance, age, age has hobbled me a little bit. Sometimes there are some benefits and there are some detriments. But with your permission, and with my grand colleague Elka Kristova, we're going to at least attempt a slight last spin around this ballroom, if you'll indulge me. 